Hello and uh, good evening and welcome to uh, our big presentation on topic e-commerce business models. Uh, today I will, I along with my group members, Rohit Bhushal, Rohan Sarma and Rahul Kumar will be giving a short uh, presentation on e-commerce and business models. First, we will uh, go through the introduction and then uh, different business models in e-commerce, then model overviews and model diagram and then we will conclude uh, along with some cautionaries. So what is uh, e-commerce? So basically as you know, uh, e-commerce is a uh, modern method, modern business methodology uh, that addresses uh, the requirements of business organization. Uh, we can broadly say it as the market of uh, buyers and sellers or uh, service using an electronic medium such as internet. Uh, this uh, presentation uh, takes a uh, a uh, simple and practical approach to explain the uh, principles of e-commerce and that uh, is generally followed. So, uh, e-commerce is, uh, as you know, is the buying and selling of goods and services or uh, transmitting of funds or data over electronic network. Now, primarily uh, the internet uh, and uh, these businesses transactions occurs either as B2B or B2C or C2C or C2B. And the terms e-commerce and e-business are often used interchangeably, so don't get confused. Uh, the term e-tail is also sometimes used in reference to the transactional process that makes up online retailing or shopping. So what is an e-commerce business model? Well, uh, e-commerce business model is basically how our e-commerce business is structured conceptually in order to reach customers and drive sales. There are several types of e-commerce business models uh, that enables uh, different uh, kinds of companies to position themselves in the market and list their customers in an effective way. So basically there are two layers to find the right e-commerce business model. Uh, the first layer determines how we are setting up our company. Basically it defines to whom we are selling and how we are positioning what we have to sell. And then comes the uh, actual e-commerce business model. That is the way we business plan to find and capture customers and how they will interact with our product. And uh, here we, are, uh, we have several model overviews and model diagram. Uh, like uh, we have different e-commerce business models like uh, business to business that is B2B. Then B2C that is business to consumer. Then uh, consumer to consumer that is C2C. Then consumer to business that is C2B. Then consumer to government that is B2C. Then we have last two that is uh, government to business and government to citizens. Uh, uh, taking over uh, to uh, Rohan Sir, please continue. Good evening, sir. So, in business to business, the organization uh, sells their products or lists their products on the website, which we say, uh, which that uh, a wholesaler buys the product, then the wholesaler sells the product to the customer. So in this uh, business model, uh, customer do not give directly from the organization. Uh, next slide. In business to customer, what happens? Uh, com company owners list the product on a website if, uh, and the consumers can directly buy or uh, buy the product from their website. In this process, uh, by a customer can get directly from the uh, organization, company. Next slide. In uh, customer to customer, what happens? Uh, customer buys or uh, leaks their product on a website that can, uh, that another customer can buy those products uh, just like uh, OLX.com. Uh, Next one. And in business to uh, customer to business, what happens? The customer uh, gives products to the business organization, uh, and the organization receives the products from the customer. That's all. Uh, so, from here I will continue, and if we deep dive into the system uh, we can find that uh, 
if some government entities uh, include in business models or e-commerce models then we can find business to government models where government entities collect information or website uh, agendas from the business organization like uh, government of kerala uh, works together with client like uh, pwc or eny and next we find some uh, vice versa version of uh, the model that is government to businesses like uh, the delhi government is currently working on some projects uh, and this kind of e-commerce used for like tenders auctions and application submission functionalities uh, that is swachh bharat abhiyan or that kind of things so it is an uh, example of government to business model Uh, coming to next, uh, that is government to citizen. Where government serves for the citizens, like uh, matrimonial websites or birth ceremony or death certificate registration websites that serves the people for a broad purpose. And that kind of uh, business model is called uh, government to citizen models. And finally, if we conclude on that fact that uh, e-commerce. expands uh, helps to expand the market in national and uh, in wider sense the international markets too and the organization can easily locate their customers based suppliers with suitable business partners across the globe e-commerce helps organization to reduce cost effectivity distribution system and managerial uh, complications based on their uh, e-commerce system Uh, it supports pool type supplementary management in pool type supplementary management the business process starts when a request comes from a customer and it uses just in time manufacturing thus we can say that e-commerce has drastically changed the business system and the ecosystem for uh, the new generations so our first mcq comes that which of the following is not considered to be one of the three phases of e-commerce and the given options are innovation consolidation preservation and reinvention so our perfect answer is preservation why that is because preservation is not considered to be the three phases as it keeps acting something like same or the prevention of for it uh, being damaged by basically prevention preservation uh, next uh, our question is which segment do ebay or amazon like websites belong that is uh, option is b2b b2c c2b and c2c So basically, Amazon does that. It provides sub services directly to the customers. So it comes under B two C segment. Our next question is: Which type of e-commerce focuses on consumers dealing with each other? And the options are C B two B S, B two C S, C two B, and C two C S. And the perfect answer is C two C, because C two C model that facilitates commerce between private individuals and the last question that is a fill in the blanks question a dash is a set of planned activities designed to result in a profit in a marketplace to gain a uh, power uh, it is a uh, potential answer should be business model as business models gives a uh, uh, certain overview over the business concept in a wider marketplace and that's all we give our acknowledgement to our thank you